nobody asked for my input, but because this is the internet, and the internet runs almost entirely on unsolicited commentary, I'm going to put in my two cents anyway. Here we go. I guess my main response, taking away any thoughts and feelings I have towards or about any of the people named or anonymous in this debacle, I'll call it. Um, because I'm not going to get into that. I am not the judge or jury or anything for individuals other than myself. And maybe not even that. Um, but one of the things that I think we need to be talking about, um, we're having a consent conversation, which is great, but something else that I think needs to be talking about, talked about is um, we need to figure out what the definition of harassment is within the YouTube community and what the community's response to that harassment line being crossed is. Of course, there are official definitions of harassment and official um, responses to them, uh, but I think as a community we need to make sure that we're all on the same page with what that is for, for us within the online space. This week I've been watching a lot of the newer videos that have been coming out um, and something that keeps sort of popping up in the back of my brain is something that I witnessed in middle school in a classroom. Um, I turn around and this girl is saying, you can't do that, you can't touch me, that's harassment. Um, and the, the guy that was touching her or doing whatever, I didn't, I didn't see it, so I don't know exactly what happened. Um, the guy says, like, you're overreacting. That's not harassment. Like, stop it. So the teacher just said, stop. You, as the offender, do not get to choose what harassment means to her. I think that, um, that definition of it has really stuck with me because it encapsulates this, some, a lot of the problems that we're having right now. Um, we, like, harassment is going to be defined slightly differently by each individual, and what I'm comfortable with or not comfortable with may be completely different than something that my best friend is comfortable or not comfortable with. So it's hard. It's not that the line is blurred or undefined or any of those things. It's just that the line is, the line may be in slightly different places for different people. Um, and then if you're interacting with someone on an individual level that you don't know very well, it can be hard to figure out where that line is until you've already crossed it and it's too late. In order to live in community together, we need to come up with a definition of harassment that we can all agree on, or at least we can all hold each other to. Right now, those laws and limits do not exist because the internet is not controlled by any form of government and nor should it be, but that means that it's all the more important that we as a community define what's okay and what's not okay and take action when what's things that are not okay are happening within our community. It's hard, it's complicated, it's not fun, it's not easy, um, and it's not going to go away because what we need is to figure this out as a community. And maybe in the future we'll all look back on this and say, oh, I can't believe that we didn't agree on this, um, but that's the future, and now is now, and now we need to be having this conversation. It is absolutely necessary and absolutely needed, and now is the time to be having it. Um, so let's start talking.